Just want to make sure this works. Uh, everyone how are you doing so wonderful to uh, see all of you right now um, can you all hear me okay so uh, my name is Matt Savage I'm a jazz pianist and composer I've been uh, playing the piano since I was a kid um, I'm so excited to uh, do this virtual concert um, for you uh, and uh, for the whole Noteworthy Experiences family. I'm proud to uh, have been teaching uh, with Noteworthy for several years. It is, um, uh, it's just so nice to see you all again. Um, so uh, anyway, I thought I should uh, just get started and um, introduce the tunes. I'm going to be playing a mix of jazz standards and my own original compositions for you right now. And I'm going to be playing both uh, piano and keyboard. So, um, and I'm going to be, so, um, and I even have a couple of brand new tunes for you right now, so that's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, some of these I haven't played before, so I'm really excited to um, do that. Um, I'd like to introduce the uh, first tune. Uh, because it's really special to me. Um, I haven't played this one before. This is the very first time I've done it in a concert. Um, so uh, the title of this one is uh, It's Time to Renew. I uh, wrote it this February and um, I gave it both a serious and sarcastic meaning. The uh, serious meaning is uh, it's time to renew. It's time to start our lives anew as uh, we transition to spring. And then the uh, Funnier meaning is uh, it's time to renew your subscription so uh, you don't have to pay uh, $10 more. So I uh, thought I'd create a double meaning with that one. Um, I originally wrote this one in February, but um, let's see. Um, I can probably just move the mic here. Is this better? Is this better? <laughs> yes. Yeah, so. Um, I originally wrote this tune in February, and um, uh, let's see, I'm going to write a response to this comment. Yeah, this is about as loud as it gets. Uh, but if you can hear me so far, then that's good. So I originally wrote this tune, It's Time to Renew, in February, and uh, then I added some more sections to it this May. and. Uh, I um, I uh, thought I'd rededicate it for you post COVID, so I I have two dates of composition on this one. So hope you enjoy this uh, world premiere tune. It's time to renew.
<laughs> Thank you so much, everybody. Uh, yes, I'm originally from uh, Sudbury. Um, yeah, I was born there. Uh, it's a great town. Um, I, uh, yeah, I haven't lived there uh, in a while, but I do miss everyone there. Um, I'd like to introduce uh, this next tune of mine. It's another one of my compositions. Um, it's, uh, and this one is uh, kind of has another funny title because it's a sort of modernization of this blues by the legendary bebop alto saxophonist uh, Charlie Parker. So Charlie Parker, uh, whose nickname was Bird, by the way, um, he had this uh, pretty popular blues uh, tune called Blues for Alice. And it's got its own unique set of chord changes. But, uh, I mean, since this is kind of in a more traditional bebop style, I was kind of thinking, how can I modernize this? So I thought I'd call this one Blues for Alexa.
uh, I'm going to switch to the uh, piano for the next one, so give me a few seconds. This next one is uh, one that's really deep and uh, meaningful for me. It's a uh, jazz standard by a legendary French, oops, sorry, a legendary French film composer named uh, Michel Legrand, and um, he actually wrote several jazz standards. And uh, this is possibly the uh, most famous one that he wrote, and uh, it's one that's very important uh, for the season we are in, and also for the time we are living in right now. And it's, uh, it's called You Must Believe in Spring. So, um, and uh, yeah, and the lyrics are really uh, gorgeous for this one too. It's like, you must believe in love and uh, I don't know, how does it go? And send it on its way just as a sleeping rose uh, awaits the kiss of May. So, um, is this better? Yeah, you must believe in love and uh, uh, send it on its way, just as a sleeping rose awaits the kiss of May. And uh, I hope these lines uh, really uh, mean as much to you as they do to me. So here's, you must believe in spring. Thank you. 
Thank you, everyone. Um, that's, uh, that's a new burner of mine uh, called The Savage Life Chose Me. And uh, if you don't know what a burner is, it's uh, a really fast, up-tempo jazz tune, one, uh, one that's just going to get you on your feet. And, um, or maybe it's too fast for uh, getting you on your feet. But that's what a burner is, um, maybe something pushing 300 beats per minute uh, even. So uh, yeah, it's a, it's a new tune of mine, so I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I think I'll stick for the uh, I'll think I'll stick to the piano for the rest of this uh, show if that's okay uh, with you. I want to make sure you can hear it okay. Um, so uh, let's see. Uh, oh yeah, Calvin. Uh, yeah, we should definitely play that one again. I know we've played it at uh, jam sessions before, so uh, that's really awesome uh, that uh, that you tuned in to hear it. So. Um, uh, oh, Calvin, uh, yes, I, I, I know you got to run to something else, but definitely let's jam soon, all right? See you. Um, next up, I'm going to do a uh, jazzified Beatles tune. Um, it's a Lennon-McCartney classic called Got to Get You Into My Life, and uh, it's the first tune on a solo piano album of mine called Matt Savage Piano Voyages. So... Um, but this is not your typical arrangement of uh, got to get you into my life. It's uh, uh, it's in 7-4 time, so uh, hope you like this uh, more complicated version. Um, and uh, hi, Cousin Braden, by the way. Here's uh, got to get you into my life.
So uh, that's a new ballad of mine. Uh, it's about maybe a year or two old, but uh, I haven't recorded it uh, on CD yet. It's called Sometimes and Always. So um, next I'm going to do a uh, jazz standard. Um, nobody can really tell uh, whether it was actually written by the legendary trumpet player Miles Davis or by his piano player Bill Evans, but um, the tune was performed by both of them a whole lot, and uh, this jazz standard is called Nardis. Um, it was probably uh, named after a guy whose last name was Sidran, and they just spelled his name last name backwards. So, um, and uh, this one is uh, typically a vehicle for exploration, so uh, you can do a long intro for it. So. Um, I've recorded this one before. It was with a uh, great Japanese bassist named Shota Ishikawa. We went to uh, Berkeley together, and um, and we actually recorded this one in Kobe, Japan. So um, yeah, this one is Nardis.
Thank you, uh, everyone. I hope you enjoyed Nardis. Um, so the tune is actually not, uh, uh, it's not uh, really uh, specifically written about Japan, but, um, but I recorded this uh, tune with Shota a few years ago and really had a lot of fun with it. So when I like to experiment with the uh, strings of the piano, I like to um, think of the uh, sound of the koto, which is uh, sort of the traditional uh, string instrument of Japan. Um, I got two more for you. Um, and uh, this next one is a little pop surprise, uh, one that I planned uh, for a while. Um, it's, uh, it's a jazz waltz uh, that I guess uh, I can sort of play it in my style, but it's actually an Alanis Morissette tune in 4-4 uh, four, four that I adapted as a uh, jazz waltz. So um, I hope you like uh, this one. It's called Head Over Feet.
Thank you so much, uh, Aunt Karen. Um, so uh, I have one more tune for all of you. Uh, thank you so much for uh, tuning in tonight. Um, it's so lovely to hear from friends and family all over the uh, country and uh, hopefully the world too. Um, and um, I'm really, uh, really so excited to to uh, be doing this live concert, so thank you so much. Um, I've got one more tune. It's uh, it's by the uh, late great <coughs> saxophonist uh, John Coltrane, and uh, sadly, the last surviving member of his quartet, the pianist McCoy Tyner, he uh, he passed away this spring. But um, but this is going to be sort of my uh, tribute to him. Uh, this is one of his earlier tunes. Um, I guess it was actually before McCoy Tyner joined the band, but it's one of his famous tunes, uh, John Coltrane's Countdown, and uh, it's, uh, it's a real burner, and uh, it's in three keys at once, basically. So um, yeah, here's Countdown.
Thank you, family and friends. Thank you, Noteworthy. Uh, it's a pleasure uh, to play for you all and uh, hope to be back soon and uh, see you soon and uh, have a wonderful summer.